Design for Publishing focuses on what we call long copy reading, so designing with large amounts of information. These are the people that are experts in designing pages, designing books, magazines, newspapers, in print and on screen. But there's another aspect to publishing which is really important and that's the image side. So we do a lot of art direction work, so creation of images which might be collaborating with photographers or illustrators, creating diagrams, working with complex data. And it really shows that design for publishing is sort of pushing the boundaries of what publishing is. We've got two enormous studios and everybody has a desk and a chair for the entire duration of the course, which is increasingly rare in the UK. So we've got a lot of cross-fertilisation of ideas going on, sharing of skills, collaboration in projects, that sort of thing. And most people come in and they treat it like a commercial studio. So one of the real successes on Design for Publishing this year was in the Penguin Book Jacket Design Awards and we had a student enter that. It, it sort of extends really what Design for Publishing is about because the, the approach a student took is actually quite illustrative. So far from the publishing course being all about type and working with photography, it's also about hand lettering and illustration. So it's a real achievement for that student. It's an amazing bit of work in the show. So what the student did was they took a filmed documentary about Bletchley Park and the code breakers in the Second World War and they used that film content and turned it into a book. But what's really fascinating is the use of augmented reality. So some of the pages you can put your phone on using a freely available app and it reveals further levels of information which I think also fits beautifully with the idea of code breaking. So it's a real example of what publishing are doing now, challenging what a book is.